It's an announcement that's supposed to help open the door for negotiations with Saudi Arabia and other Gulf Arab states. Lebanon's information minister, George Kurdehi's comments calling the war in Yemen a Saudi aggression triggered the worst deterioration in relations in years. For weeks, Kurdehi rejected calls to resign. He now explains why he changed his mind. French President Emmanuel Macron is heading to Saudi Arabia on an official visit. What I understood from the Prime Minister, who I met three days ago, is that France wants to use my resignation to help open dialogue with Saudi Arabia. French President Emmanuel Macron has been urging Gulf states not to isolate Lebanon. It's believed he wants to use the resignation as a bargaining chip to convince Saudi Arabia and other states to restore economic and diplomatic ties with Lebanon. The government in Beirut right now is um, basically a corporation where the French and the Iranians um, are called the shots. And it seems that for the government, in order to be able for it to succeed, to, in order to be able for it to in, ensure the implementation of the reforms that are being asked for by the international community, there must be uh, some sort of an um, involvement of um, Gulf money. There is no guarantee the resignation will be enough for Saudi Arabia, which has said it won't engage with a government controlled by the Iranian-backed Hezbollah. But it could help end the political crisis in Lebanon. Kurdahi is backed by Hezbollah, which, along with its allies, paralyzed the cabinet for weeks. They want the lead judge investigating the 2020 explosion at Beirut port, Tariq Bitar, removed for what they allege is political bias. Efforts to limit his jurisdiction in the case are now underway. Prime Minister Najib Meati, who took office in September, promised to repair ties with Arab Gulf states, but it has been a difficult balancing act, with political power in Lebanon in the hands of Hezbollah. Uh, there was a uh, problems that faced him mainly on the system in Lebanon and the political system. Second, what have taken place between Lebanon and the Gulf, and in this period of time, and especially, we need the best uh, scenarios in order to be uh, uh, healing on, on, or on the healing track. A Saudi ban on all imports from Lebanon is adding pressure to an economy already in free fall. A gesture of goodwill may reverse such measures, but repairing a relationship with a traditional ally is part of a larger geopolitical struggle with Iran. Zanakhudar Al-Jazeera, Beirut.